Now in this lesson we're going to work with the arithmetic operators within PHP. So what I'm going to need to do is delete the code that I have and just leave myself a blank slate there between my PHP delimiters. And so what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and create two different numeric data types uh, variables. I'm going to start off with just number one. So I'll just type in dollar sign num1 is going to be one of my variables and I'm going to go ahead and set that equal to six and that with a semicolon. My second one, I'll do dollar sign num2, I'll set that equal to 5. And I'll go ahead and end that with a semicolon. Now, as you would expect with most languages, we can do math operations, or at least arithmetic operations, and they're fairly simple. The addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are going to be what you expect they are. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to run through really quick here, echo, and we're going to go ahead and say take dollar sign num1, we're going to go ahead and say add or the plus symbol dollar sign num2. And I'll go ahead and save that statement here. Let's see, put the semicolon at the end of the statement, save the page, and then refresh it over here. And you can see, as what you would expect, you'd get 11. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here echo dollar sign num1 minus dollar sign num2. And I'm going to go ahead and end that and save it. And let's go ahead and refresh it. And you can see that I got a 1. Now I didn't have a break tag. So let's go ahead, now that we know about concatenation, let's go ahead and concatenate a break tag in here. And I'll go ahead and put that in there. So I just use the period. And I've got the double quotes around a break tag. And for future reference, I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. Do control C copy that and then be able to paste that here uh, after every one of my statements so that we can use break tags. So I'll hit save and refresh and you'll see that it will now displace it there on the next line. So let's go ahead and do another one. Echo. We'll do a dollar num1. And let's go ahead and do multiplication and we've already looked at this in a previous lesson but we'll go ahead and do this one in here as well. And I'll go ahead and end that with a semicolon save it, refresh it, and you're going to get 30. So, so far everything is normal. It's not until we use what's called the modulus that things are going to look a little different. We'll do num1. Let's go ahead and divide it by dollar sign num2. And I'll go ahead and end that with a semicolon and refresh it. You can see that I get 1.2. So these are the basic math operators that we're all familiar with. Now there is a special one here. It's called modulus which is a little bit different. And whenever you divide numbers, you might have a remainder. So let's just go ahead and say we took 6 divided by 5. What would end up happening is 5 would go into 6 one time with a remainder of 1. And so what will end up happening here is we can take that remainder, that remainder of 1, and display whatever the remainder is now. So I can type in echo. We'll put in there dollar sign. Num1. The modulus operator symbol is going to be the percent sign. Let's go ahead and do dollar sign num2 and we're going to go ahead and add that break tag and that with a semicolon. So I'll save that and refresh my page and you can see that you have a remainder now of 1. So let's go ahead and change our numbers around a little bit and see what else happens here. If I had 30 and then let's go ahead and say we've got 25 here. I'm going to save it and refresh it you can see that I've got 55, 5, 750, 1.2, and then 5, which means 25 and 30. 30 divided by 25 is going to go in there one time with a remainder of 5. If the numbers are reversed, and let's go ahead and say that the greater number is now the second number, so let's go ahead and make this 20, and I hit save and refresh. You can see that it will do the addition. The subtraction is now going to result in a negative number, and it displays a negative number here on my page. You've got 500 for the multiplication. The division is going to be 0.8 and now the modulus you'll see that we've got 20 here. 20 divided by 25 is going to be if you take 20 and divide by 25, 25 will go into 20 zero times and the remainder will be 20 at the moment. And So that's why you see 20 here. In fact the smaller the number it's going to be a smaller number that we're going to have on the uh, left hand side of the operator 
is going to always display it. So that's kind of a tricky thing when you have your numbers backwards there, but the modulus is going to show the remainder. And so this is going to happen um, regardless. And so let's just say that there was something like 10 uh, modulus 2. So let's go ahead and type in there 10 and something like 2. And I go ahead and save it. Now what is the rem remainder going to be here? Well, it's going to be a remainder of 0. So if I refresh it, you'll see that you get 0, meaning there is no remainder left. And so what's wonderful about this is we can kind of use this modulus to test if something goes into something evenly without a remainder because we can get the result of 0 if that was the case. And so now what I would like to talk about is incrementing and decrementing numbers. And so what we can mean by that is basically adding one or subtracting one is the default that most of the time we find in code that people will use to a particular variable. And so let me just show you what I mean by that. If I type in an echo statement, and I type in the dollar sign num1 and end that with a semicolon here, what we're going to expect to see is just the number 10 because that's what the value is, number 10. However, what I can do is I can increment it by one ahead of time before it displays it by putting a plus plus in front of it. And that's a common thing you'll see within PHP code. So what this really says is echo, add to it before you display the value one, this is what the two, two pluses are, and then show the number. So if I go ahead and save it and then refresh it, you're going to see that it displays it as 11, meaning it incremented it by 1. Now let me go ahead and add that break tag here to this one. Control V. There we go. So we've got a break tag. I'm going to concatenate that. Now let's go ahead and echo. And I'm going to do just number 1. So you can see that from now on, num1 is going to be, I'll go ahead and add the break tag to it. Num1 is going to be 11 from now on. So I'll go ahead and refresh it, and you can see that it still is 11. So it started off as 10 here. We did all of our math down to it before, but now we've incremented it by 1. So we've changed the value here and added 1 to it. A lot of times you also will see people put plus plus at the end of a number, and that also means to increment it by 1. However, it's going to display the value first here when I do my echo statement, and then later on increment it by 1. One. So if I go ahead and save it now and refresh my page, it still shows 11. However, the next time that I plan on using it in my code, which I'm going to go ahead and use it right now, dollar sign num1, go ahead and end that with a semicolon, save. The next time that I use it, it's now going to be 12. So it echoed out that number, it incremented it by 1, and now from now on it's going to be 1 higher. So if I go ahead and refresh it, you'll see now that it is 12. So depending on where you increment it, either at the beginning or the end of your variable, may make a difference within your code. Now if you increment it by one and plan on using it later on in your code, well then it's going to increment it by one either way. It just depends if you want to echo the statement there. So that can be a little confusing. A lot of the times I usually see it, the variable and then plus plus at the end to increment it by one because it's usually used as some kind of counter within a loop structure of our code, which we'll get to later on in a different lesson. So that's incrementing it by one. I also want to show you that we can decrement it by one. So if I echo, and then I go ahead and type in minus minus, and I'm going to go ahead and say the dollar sign, num1, and I'm going to go ahead and end up with a semicolon. Now let me add that break tag before I forget. There we go, and I'll add a break tag here as well. And the same thing is going to apply here. If I refresh my page, you'll see now that at this moment it is currently 11 because it decremented it or decreased it by 1 before it displayed it. And so again if I do the same thing where I type in an echo and I type in dollar sign num1 and then I say minus minus and I'll go ahead and concatenate a break tag into that and then echo dollar sign num1 and that with a semicolon save this page and refresh it, you'll see that this line of code, it showed 11 first and then after that it decremented it by 1, which you can see right here in this result. And the next time that I used it, it was now currently 10. So this video is dealing with the arithmetic operators incrementing and decrementing numbers as well.